that you are the people of God, that the Holy Spirit is at work among you, that God is at work. More and more, let us all appreciate, let us realize the truth of the last lines of Matthew's Gospel. I am with you always. Know that I am with you always. We gather on a beautiful day for the Passion. And just for a moment, to dwell on this day, the feast day, Our Lady's birthday, the birth of Mary, the newborn baby, the daughter of Joachim and Anne. To think about Mary, our faith is incredible. Our faith is mind-blowing. The happening that we proclaim, it was a fantastic honor that God became one of us. That's our belief. God so wants to be involved in our lives, he became one of us. He was born into our world. God the Father sent his son. And Mary was the woman chosen. And so, in dwelling on Mary this day, in dwelling on the woman chosen to be God's mother, it grounds our faith, our incredible faith that God the Almighty, the All-Powerful, was so interested, so loved us. Our world mattered so much. The human family mattered so much to him that he became one of us. And this day, we honor the woman who was his mother. We honor her birth. She must have been a very special human being to be worthy to be mother of Jesus. She must have been a truly beautiful person, a person of exceptional goodness. <coughs> she must have lived a life of pure love. There must have been in her no darkness, no badness. So this day we honor her. And we honor her as realizing she was an ordinary human being an ordinary baby girl, the child born to Joachim and Anne. And so in honoring her this day and honoring Mary, we think of her life and we think of her son, realizing that it's the heart of our faith, that God entered our world and became a human being. He wanted to get in touch with us. He wanted to prove to us that he was ever caring for us. He wanted to show us his plans for us. At the heart of that plan was the offer of eternal life. So this day to honor Our Lady, let's get in touch deep down with her faith afresh. It really happened. The son born to Mary is Christ our Savior. Let's keep in mind Mary's words of the Annunciation. Mary said in response to the angel, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Let us too in our lives, let us seek to live as God wants us to. Let us live the life God has put before us. Let us seek ever to do God's will. Just for a moment to dwell on what, what is God asking of us? And just to dwell on it in terms of the our diocesan motto, the motto on the coat of arms of the diocese for the years ahead. You know, each diocese has a coat of arms, and the coat of arms changes slightly, and the motto changes from bishop to bishop. In bishop Bill Murphy's time, the motto was, Be not afraid, fear not. The motto in our time will be three simple words from St. John's Gospel love one another. They're words of Jesus in the Gospel love one another. So just to dwell on that for a moment and see that those three words are at the centre of being a Christian. To sum up the message of Mary's son. Love one another. That's all our God asks of us. Don't we know in our hearts that the more love is in the world, the more loving people are, the more happy, the more wholesome the world itself is. Though we know in our hearts that if we could all be a bit more loving, 
active people in the world, individually and as communities. unite as one and offering the bread of wine with the bread of wine let's offer our lives praying that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father O oh God who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting honor to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just for doing our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world. <coughs> you have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed the human family in your own image. You set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made and forever to praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, with the angels we praise you, and in joyful celebration we proclaim...
Lord as we are going in the road. Providing for us and caring for us. Part of his way of being true to his promise through it as always. Let us trust in Christ, his presence, his love, his care, his offer of eternal life. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in Thee. O oh, Sacrament, most holy, O oh, Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Let us pray. I went very, very quickly. Uh, the the, the, the Belly High or Christian Heritage uh, is the book that was brought out just before the pattern last year and we were celebrating uh, the golden jubilees of two uh, schools that Bishop uh, Ray Brown is patron of, Bowling Shear yesterday and Glendary in June and uh, Brian McMahon brought out another book on the area that's very good. So we'd like to present those to Bishop Ray Brown. I don't want to get time to read them, but he'll maybe dig into them now and again. So I'd ask Michal O'Halloran, who was very involved in all of them, uh, to come forward to present it to Bishop Ray Brown. And just a final uh, word as regards uh, where we'd be depart from the, from the grotto. Uh, we are asked that uh, no cars would move until the people who are walking and move away first in the interest of safety, just to hold on for a couple of minutes and everyone will get out safely without any. It will be uh, every bit as quickly in the end if the walkers are left go out. So thanks very much. <laughs>
Thank you. 